Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today I'm fitting this matte black transporter badge to the back of my Volkswagen Transporter T5. Um, I've removed the chrome one because I didn't like the chrome. I wanted something which matches the rest of the van. So I've got this lovely matte black transporter badge. I'll put a link in the description where you can get one from. Um, and I'm also going to show you in this video how I removed my old one. And then I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to refit this one. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you've got any questions, please leave them below. And don't forget to like this video if you find it useful. Cheers. So I'm just debadging the van at the minute. I'm going to take this transporter one off. Um, trim removal tool with some hot water. Now, it's not as brutal as it seems. I'm just going to pour the hot water over. That will loosen the badges. And then just be very gentle with the plastic trim removal tool to pry them off. Um, it shouldn't scratch the bodywork at all because it's plastic. Um, not even see it just comes off like so. Right, so they're all peeled off. Um, just got to start taking this off. Now, the way I'm doing it is just getting some hot water and just slowly removing the sticky residue. Right, it's all fully debadged. All right, gonna give it a clean. Bucket and the sponge, and just some normal car wash stuff. See this comes in. Get a microfiber cloth. Give that a little rub down. So you can see where I've removed the old chrome one. Give that. Just more of a wipe down before I put this new one on. I'm just using a microfiber cloth for that, just to make sure there's no grit or dirt there. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, just taking the letters off, and then I'm going to remove this plastic back in and use this as a template. So I'm going to stick this white cardboard to the van where the badge used to be. just like so. So I've tried lining it up as best I can. Um, once you're happy with it, the best thing to do is just tape it either side. So that will give you a nice straight line. So you can see here, I've just put a little bit of tape either side, just so I've got a bit of movement. Now I'm gonna tape across the top and bottom um, whilst just making sure it's all straight. Just take your time because if you rush it, it ain't gonna be straight. So I've only got black tape at the minute, but it will do the job. A bit of a left coin shading tape on that cellar tape. Right, so now I'm gonna start sticking these onto the van. I'm just gonna take the film off the back. making sure you're getting it straight at the top and bottom when you're fitting these. Right, so it's all stuck on. You've just got to be careful of the cardboard behind that it doesn't pull any of the letters off. So, I'm just going to take the tape off. Just press the letters down as you're removing the cardboard.
One thing I did notice is a few of the letters weren't 100%, so I'm just going to show you what to do if you do experience that as well. So if you do need to move any of them, just use the backs of your thumbs, um, because if you use the front, you can scratch the paintwork of your nails. So like you can see, I'm just wiggling it a little bit. If you really need to move it a lot more, just heat them up a bit, and um, that should help. But overall, I'm pretty happy with that. I can't expect it to be perfect because it weren't put on by Volkswagen. <laughs>